Life is good, but it can be better. We're at 3070. Let's go. Some of you didn't get that reference. That was from Wonder Woman 84, I apologize, but <laughs> life is still good. This is the Dell XPS 8940. Now, the reason why I said this is probably one of the best ways you can get a 3000 series card or 3070 is because you can buy one in a PC like this. And this is Dell's uh, 27 inch 165 Hertz monitor. This is an awesome monitor, but I'll get to that in a second. Of course, we've got our lovely Giaria here. If you want that wallpaper, use the link down below. But anyway, Back to this device. This I like because it comes into colors black and white. It is small and compact, meaning like you can lift this up pretty easily. So that's actually pretty cool. And if you've got a smaller apartment, smaller space, it will work well for you. Now, the XPS uh, 8940 here configured is about 2,180. There are different configurations you can get, so it all depends on what you want. But it's got a plethora of ports, first off, that is a Blu-ray drive. If you care for a Blu-ray drive, sure, you can actually add one in there. Uh, you've also got an SD card slot. You've got three USB 3.1 uh, uh, and then a USB-C 3.1. And at the back, which you can see, uh, they've also got multiple USB ports, Ethernet port, and of course, um, you know, you've got built-in ports from the motherboard. Now, what's really cool about this when we open up this PC while it's still running here, so excuse me guys, is what we have inside. So I think Dell's done a really good job uh, of how this PC is kind of tuned. That's our 3070 right there, right? And 3070s, 3080s, 3060s, these cards are hard to find. So having one, especially not paying like overpriced stuff is really, really good. Now, when you look into this, this build here, it is a bit simplistic. I wish it was actually a bit better. The motherboard looks pretty basic to me, uh, but of course, we've got 16 gigs of RAM, which is upgradable as well. Our CPU here is a, an, an Intel 10700. Now you can go up to a 10900, but the 10700 does really well. And we'll see some of that performance when we you know, use it with this monitor. Now we've got storage options. First off is of course a built-in NVMe with 512 gigabytes, really small bad boy in there. Then we've got two terabytes of storage, which is with the uh, hard drive storage. And I included my storage from Samsung, which is a one terabyte SSD. It's a great source. I like to use it because I can swap it in and out. And also the placement here on this, in this build allows me to easily do that. Now speeds for that are roughly around 500 up and down. But again, if you need something to use, I would definitely recommend it. It's not sponsored, it's just something I like to use. This is, I believe the Samsung 870. Definitely check it out. So we have all this here, right? Well, we've got our system built. It actually runs pretty quiet too. I mean, you know, you can kind of hear a little bit. There's more sound from the background than there is here. But how does it actually perform? Gaming wise, we know, we know how the benchmarks are for the 10700, the 3070, but this configuration we have here, what kind of performance are we getting? on an IPS monitor that is also 144 Hertz, uh, 165 Hertz, sorry, and 100, 1440 in terms of resolution. So let's get into some gaming. Okay, so how is it playing on this PC? Now, I mentioned this is the Dell um, S27 uh, monitor. This is a 165 Hertz uh, gaming monitor. It's also an IPS monitor. And of course, we go straight to test UFO. You can clearly see it is hitting at 165 frames per second, of course, which is great to see. Now, performance wise though, I really loved what you can do with this device in terms of gaming. Um, performance has been great. I tried a couple of games, you know, CSGO, just to see how high I could reach. Definitely also tried uh, some uh, Cyberpunk 77 because that is graphically intensive. And you know how to play some, uh, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, to see how that is, as well as Doom Eternal. So let's take a look at each game here. So speaking of CSGO, we actually played the game both at 1080p and 1440. 
and we got roughly around 274 frames per second. It really didn't matter between both, whether it was 1080 or 1440. Performance was pretty much steady. Again, CSGO is a game that is not graphically intensive, uh, but is one to you know, try and push uh, the FPS uh, benchmarks of your monitor if you have a monitor that's higher uh, refresh rate. I also forgot to mention this is also AMD FreeSync Pro monitor. Still will work with your G-Sync anyway, so in terms of just performance wise, you're good to go. So the next game was Doom Eternal. Now Doom Eternal, we first played in 1080p and 1080p, we got a max of almost 300 frames per second. This is also Ultra Nightmare and a minimum of roughly around 200 uh, and uh, 190 roughly. So it depended, it depended on how intense the gameplay session was. Now, moving over to 1440, max was around 250, got dropped down a little bit lower to about 150 or so. So you see the range you have there, but it played well. It didn't feel like there were any slowdowns. Again, performance wise, uh, this is my first time using uh, th uh, 3070 uh, for any kind of gameplay. And I've got to say though, 3000 series really performs well with games like this. So performance and Doom was really nice and if you want to max it out you can definitely go ahead and do that. Then of course there is Call of Duty Warzone. Got to play some Warzone on this and it's been a while since I've had a PC that could push Warzone this much. Uh, Warzone, uh, I actually ran it at 1440, didn't go down to 1080p, and performance wise, I was quite impressed. Uh, and again, Warzone is a game that kind of fluctuates between gaming performance, uh, it can be iffy sometimes, uh, but the best performance I got off of this PC, uh, the Dell XPS 8940, was uh, almost uh, 144 frames per second, which was really nice to see, especially a game like this, which is still technically in beta and we need more maps anyway for this game. Performance was solid across the board. I think the lowest I got was probably around uh, 123 frames. Highest I got was about 155. So I believe like around 140, 144 was the medium for this. And it performed really well. So it was good to actually play a game like Warzone uh, pretty smooth, pretty clean without any issues. And then there is Cyberpunk 2077. Now this is a game, of course, we know is pretty graphically intensive and can push your system. And it definitely did. Uh, I saw a range in terms of performance where the lowest we did was around 65 frames per second and the highest it got to was about 90 frames per second. I'll say the medium was roughly around 75 uh, for gameplay with this, uh, but it ran really well. And that's the thing that I do like about this is that this is quite a, a robust system, if you will. Plus again, that graphics card really does a fantastic job. But I think overall, people will like the gaming performance they see with the Dell XPS 8940. And also this monitor is really, really solid. All right, so overall, this is a great way to upgrade to a better system. Now, I know a lot of people are looking for graphics cards out there like the 3070 or the 38 or even the 3060, which you can get a configuration with this in there. It's just hard to find. I've been trying to upgrade my own system uh, and I couldn't do it. And I think Dell has a pretty solid option here. Now you saw the internals, this is definitely upgradable. You can swap out and put your own NVMe in there. You can also upgrade the, the RAM. Uh, you can do much more with it. Now, now, I know the 30, there's a 3060 configuration that's like 1700. This is 2185. Uh, and this monitor, I will definitely recommend this monitor for anyone who's looking for something that's compact, that's, that's, that will fit their system, or at least their spacing. 27-inch uh, monitor, 165 uh, hertz. And of course, 1440, really solid for a gameplay experience that you will not regrets. So there you have it guys. That is how you can get yourself a 3070. But honestly though, the Dell XPS uh, 8940 is a really good system to check out. Now, I know you guys want to see more PC and gaming stuff from me and I definitely have more. I do have a Razer Blade 17 Pro 2021 laptop, which I just checked out. So definitely head over to that video to see how it performs. And I've got some more stuff like literally over there, that uh, will be coming out pretty soon. So stay tuned. If you have any questions in the comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on that Razor video and uh, enjoy your entertainment.